Hey folks, welcome back. It's been a while since we posted a video. A lot has happened since then, of course. So you can see behind me here, more or less the snow is completely gone. We've uh, sold yeah. the puppies that we were gonna sell. So we're gonna sell three of them, or actually four of them. One is going to our friends that still has to move here. Uh, and we were gonna keep three of them. So three of our boys are still here, plus the one, um, that is going to our friends, but we're gonna keep her here until they are able to get here. Planting season is in full swing. Hannah's been planting quite a bit. She's replanted a few things because they didn't work out as well. We're planting the garden. We're gonna do uh, the potato field a bit different this year compared to the last couple of years that we've done it. And yeah, just everything, you know, everything that's going on. Here's one little puppy. This is Bear. He's one of the boys that we're keeping. He is a lot like his father, very, very cute. These puppies are super, super sweet. And we're very, very happy that we got to breed the father and uh, father, father Nyala together with Thelma. She is such a nice female and Nyala is of course super nice male. And the puppies turned out, yeah, just like this. Nice, cute little balls. Not too long ago, actually just almost a week ago, we had a proper scare with uh, Nyala. He's standing right here next to me. Uh, on Wednesday, so yeah, one week ago, we uh, noticed that he wasn't that super happy about eating. And this is a guy that never skips a meal. So we were a little bit worried uh, or unsure what was going on with him. We couldn't necessarily see that big of a change in his... The puppies are playing like crazy here. Uh, we couldn't see necessarily that big of a change in his general condition. So we didn't think too much of it. Thursday came around and he still wasn't eating and uh, we saw a big shift in his general condition where he started to get slower, like tired and you know all of the signs of that something is wrong with this dog that otherwise is super happy and healthy and is a strong eater super super strong eater and on friday morning and we took him out, we actually took him out for a walk on uh, thursday afternoon and he pooped so we didn't think too much of it because the poop was quite okay as well and then on friday morning he didn't want to eat again and we were sitting down and hannah decided to call the vet we didn't want it to be an emergency on the weekend where the price would go up dramatically just because we ha would have to call an on-call vet if that would have been the case. So she called the vet that we're going to, uh, just close by to here. And they said to come in to check it. We did an x-ray and there was something, we couldn't see properly what it was. It was something that was blocking his intestines. And we could see that because the intestines were a little bit bloated, so there was some gas building up in them already. So we decided to operate on him right away, and uh, it turned out that it was a small... And I'm not, I'm not kidding, like, of course it's hard to see <laughs> what the, uh, that reference to, but basically a tea light size piece of wood, flat piece of wood, that was stuck in between the big and small intestines. So. That was not a fun thing to have to do and he's of course an old dog he's turning 10 soon so he's getting better he's on the on the mend he's recovering quite fast and quite good he's still on on boiled chicken and rice um something that's a little bit more gentle towards his stomach but yeah things can happen whenever and that's just the downside i guess of having dogs you never know what's gonna happen in a day and you just have to find a way to work with it and deal with it but he's okay we're super happy to have such a good vet nearby we're super happy that uh, we went with our gut feeling of going to the vet um, instead of waiting it out and we are super super happy to have our old man alive and kicking and on the mend. We hope that he is going to live for a handful of years more and teach 
multiple generations of dogs how to be a good dog because he's the best that's for sure but I'll show you guys a little bit more about the puppies right now they all really really love to cuddle these puppies which of course we are not against at all you guys have to be nice to each other if you're gonna stay here with me okay no, no, no. Be nice. Huh? Be nice, guys. Be nice. And then the tank comes in here. And the fourth little <laughs> lady. I uh, fear mostly for them accidentally biting my nose too hard in their overexcitement. Hi. Come here. Hi. The three puppies that we did sell and that has moved went to fantastic homes. Two of them went together, two sisters, and they went to a couple further south from here. We sold one of our puppies from our last litter, a female too, uh, to them and they were interested again. So we're super super happy that, they, that those two girls just went to those, to that couple because they will have an amazing time in life together with them closer to the mountains in, in Jämtland. And then one girl went to uh, another woman that has really good philosophy around her dogs and good care for the dogs. So we're super happy that he went over there too. They all have good homes. Three are staying here I said and one is going to our friends. And that little lady will have a great life too. We still do have a lot of projects around here that needs to get done. Uh, one big thing is that we need to change out the roof on the greenhouse. Last year we scraped a piece of uh, plastic over it, but this year we're gonna buy some plastic roofing to put on. We still need to um, uh, sort out the potato field. Rosa, it's just a stick, okay? Finishing the firewood and a uh, bunch of other small little projects here and there. I don't know if any one of you folks watching remember what it looks like here in winter. So none of these rocks in the kennel here are visible. So we do get a fair bit of snow. So what we want to do this year is to clear this chute here and then clear some, clear some stuff over there as well. Just to make it a little bit easier for us to exit early season. Because now these rocks no, that rock there, and then this one here, and then a lot of these ones here are fairly big. I mean, it's hard to to uh, get an idea, but this is one. This one is like 30, 40 centimeters tall and quite big. So we want to have that out of the way, clear a chute here, and clear some of the stuff over here as well. Besides the puppies and Nyala, the rest of the dogs are doing great. Uh, we're not training as much anymore. We're doing shorter runs with smaller teams at the moment. These last couple of days have actually been the first days where it's been plus degrees. Uh, so above freezing all hours of the uh, day. So even in the nights as well. Uh, so we've been able to train the dogs a bit in the mornings. We're going to continue doing so until it gets too warm or too humid just to get them running a little bit more. Like of course they're playing every single day in the uh, free run area, but it's also nice for them to actually get out and run a bit. We still have some firewood to deal with, both for our main house and for the sauna. And then I've started to uh, work on some 
chainsaw skills. So I saw a guy on YouTube just freehanding um, lumber with a chainsaw and he showed a really good technique for doing that. So I've been trying it out a bit with varied results. I'm still quite happy with it. It's, it's very rough, it's very raw. It's usable for some of the projects like a little woodshed for the sauna firewood. It's gonna be perfect for that. But here are a couple of beams. I don't know if you can see. They are quite okay, quite good sturdy beams. I mean, they're, it, it's done with a chainsaw on free hand, so I'm still quite happy with that actually. This is made with a chainsaw, free handing without a jig. Quite happy with it. Back here, these are just some of the leftover slabs. I don't know what you call this in English at all. Uh, the edges of the uh, wood perfectly fine to use to build a woodshed with or an outdoor shower or something like that and here are the boards I mean some of them are better than others this one has still a little lip here but for being completely free-handed I'm not gonna complain too much it's the first time I'm doing it like I think it's quite okay given my experience level on this kind of stuff. I'm quite happy with it actually. It will be perfectly fine for what we need it for. And it's a super fun project. So this is what the garden bed looks like at the moment. We haven't filled them up with soil yet. The potato field back here is still covered in snow. Uh, but I think it will go super fast now as the, uh, the days are and the nights are also warm. Here in the herb garden these little things grow like crazy. It's chives. In the herb garden here it's going to be really interesting to see what actually comes back. Is any of the mint going to come back or... Because there are some stuff growing down here. It's hard to know if it's mint at the moment. I have no idea what mint does look like when they're tiny. But we got plenty of chives at least. And Tusker has come here to say hi to Nyala. Hi Tusker. Please don't break these. So these are black currant bushes that we bought from a nursery uh, a couple of years ago. I don't know if you can see anything if it wants to focus. Uh, they were quite small, so this height here when we got it. But they are slowly, slowly getting there and they are starting to get some shoots. Same thing with this one. And the red currants are actually doing a lot better. Oh yeah, these are actually red currant bushes that were here. Oh, this is black currant. That were here when we got it. We just transplanted them from another spot where they didn't really do anything to this little sort of herb uh, garden area where they're doing quite okay. I mean, we're we're not gonna have berries from them this year either. Same thing with this one and same thing with that one. Yalla. You silly little cat. I am in the middle of repotting my tomato seedlings. Don't have a ton of these pots and this one is quite big as you can see compared to my others. I'm gonna give these, these guys are gonna share once they're even bigger and everything is warm enough and we have the new roof on the greenhouse then they're gonna actually move into the greenhouse. I hope they'll do well. Like I really wish I had planted these earlier in the season. I have it in the calendar now. <laughs> I have it in a Google, in our Google calendar when I'm gonna plant like not only like start planting seedlings but like plant tomatoes and chilies now. Also, my chili plants didn't go. So yeah, that's my plan for next year. So I set up our water catchment now, and I took them out of the loft in our garage where I had them stowed for the winter. And now I've got them set back up. So here they are, all ready to go. One last thing I gotta do, very important. Close this up, boop. Otherwise, we're not gonna collect any water. Well, we'll collect it, but we'll dump it back down. I'm happy they are up. It means that we'll get some water going. 
So this is the other one that we're gonna be building. It just needs, I need to attach a tube, like a gutter from the top there, whoop, right up there, down inside here. And I think I'd like to have it a little bit higher up, but uh, you can see someone else actually used it before for similar purpose and ha there's a, a hole here that's been taped shut. Um, this holds, I think, 200 liters. Is this 200 liters? Okay, this is a thousand liters, holy moly. Um, the only other thing we need is a proper spout for here, because this is a different kind of spout. Let's see what we've got. So they actually do sell ones for these specifically, so you can just attach them. Oh, look at that, it even has numbers on the side. How cool. So you can see how much you have. And gallons too! Wow! Um, but yeah, so a thousand, a thousand liters. Yeah, there's always a lot of stuff going on when you're having, when you have a pack of dogs and uh, a homestead as well. But we're gonna get back on to a more regular schedule of releasing videos. So if you wanna see what's going on, you know what to do.